and it's finally over for at least six months i'm reading this from the telegraph dated yesterday 10th of november 2019 economy to escape recession scare in pre-election boost for boris johnson the sea soaring uk economy will bounce back from its first contraction in seven years on monday in a boost for boris johnson's election hopes growth will swing back into positive territory when the official statements for the last quarter are published after a year dominated by the twists and turns of the brexit process experts predict output to rise 0.4 percent between July and September as the UK shrugs off the hangover of a weak second quarter when the economy declined 0.2% and I'm not registering to read the rest. I'm going to switch over to the Daily Mail which basically continues that story. Anyway, Boris Johnson gets election boost growing 0.4% in the last quarter. They will sh- the Mr. Johnson will be given a lift on Monday when the publication of Office of National Statistics figures. They will show UK economy grew by 0.4% in the last quarter, avoiding recession. Economic forecasts have moved erratically due to the fluid Brexit deadline. Boris Johnson election boost, 0.2% shrink in the second quarter again. It talks about economic forecasts have moved erratically due to the fluidity of brexit deadlines at one time march 29th shifting to october 31st and most recently a full extension to january 31st and then it talks about employment rate staying stagnant as well so in my last portfolio update i basically mentioned that there was a quote from mark carney which happened at some point on thursday where he basically said i predict a 0.4 percent Um, growth in the UK economy which for me if anybody is coming out saying they predict a 0.4% growth that means they already know particularly the top man in the Bank of England I don't think he would come out and make such a statement unless he knew that the economy was going to be avoiding a recession so I think you know this is obviously a fantastic thing first of all first and foremost this is great for the UK economy this is great news for Britain this is great news for for the citizens of the UK for residents of the UK from an investor standpoint I do predict that a lot of your stocks potentially will start to see a bit of a rally this morning and maybe throughout this week um, as bre- sorry, as recession was definitely one of the key reasons and the key factors for a lot of our stocks basically being um, quite depressed. Particularly, you know, you would have seen what happened during the summer due to the fact of, you know, the second quarter's figures as well. Um, so that's obviously going to hopefully give us a bit of a, you know, end of year boost in our portfolios, particularly those of us that are heavily exposed within the UK economy as well and I think as well the other positive about this is that there there there's obviously three key things that's been going on in the UK you've got obviously the Brexit situation you've got obviously uh, talks of um, recession um, and why does the third thing elude me the third thing lose me but I always talk about three key things trade war trade war um, which has obviously impacted the UK so from a trade war standpoint, it's looking like there is um, a slowdown in some of the tit for tat trade war. We saw that Donald Trump sent out a message saying that a lot of the recent talks as well went well, um, and China talking about how they're considering some of the new numbers that have been presented to them, which is obviously great. You got the fact that Brexit, although it's now being extension, the flex extension as they're talking about, um, it does mean there is a general election. So I think a no deal Brexit in the format that it would have happened previously would have been a lot more would have had a lot more of a material impact in terms of stock market performance and now you've got this news of a recession so hopefully you know all of these three things once resolved will mean that you know performance in the market and performance um in stocks and portfolio at least towards the end of the year um up until i guess the next brexit deadline should be good so that's it for today I wanted to keep this short and sweet, but great news that we should be avoiding a recession. I mean, the official statistics doesn't actually come out until 9.30. Um, So (laughs) bearing something miraculous that actually changes everything, you know, this video technically could be wrong. Um, However, I doubt it. I doubt it. And so, yeah, great news that we're going to be avoiding a recession. So yeah, get in the comments. I'm definitely interested to hear, you know, how much your portfolio has been affected over the course of this week or today. Um, so yeah get in the comments and let me know and yeah please like please comment please subscribe and i will be back this week with a lot more investment videos take care guys peace